Hello everyone, Wade from High Tech Legion here with an overview of the BioStar UEFI BIOS for the Hi-Fi B85N 3D motherboard. As you can see, we're in the BIOS, we're on the main screen here, as indicated by this highlighted button on the bottom. We've got a little heads-up display here, which has our temperature and our CPU fan speed, as well as our memory and voltage. And our memory speed and voltage, our CPU speed and voltage for that. We've got the BIOS information here, including the model name of the board and the BIOS version, along with the build date, how much memory is in it, and the system language, as well as the time. You can actually adjust the time here just by selecting it and pressing the plus and minus to change the date and time. We have an access level of administrator. And then down here we have tabs for advanced chipset, boot security, performance, and save and exit button. Under the advanced tab, we've got settings for our PCI subsystem. We've got settings for the ACPI settings to enable hibernation and sleep states and restore AC power on power loss. Typically I like to leave this at power off so that way uh, you don't get a surge if you're getting power on and off and on and off. Once you're in these menus you can hit escape to go back to the previous menu. <laughs> CPU settings as well as information about the CPU. Your configuration for your SATA controller which does default to AHCI as it should since most drives support that at this point. You can see with each port we have um, information on what's plugged into it. Rapid start technology whether it's enabled or disabled. Our USB configuration. You can actually disable your USB mass storage controller as well by uh, turning this to disable. Fan control, you can turn it on, smart fan control on, so that the uh, system will actually control the fan speeds based on temperature. I.O. config for serial port. Little hardware monitor here. And you can set a shutdown temperature, so if the system reaches a certain temperature threshold, it'll shut down to protect itself. Intel Smart Connect technology, whether it's enabled or disabled, and network stack, whether you enable the UEFI network stack. Next tab is the chipset information. So in the chipset information, you can uh, configure the onboard LAN option and the gigabit LAN option, as well as the second onboard LAN, the audio codec, and EUP control. You also have the MAC addresses of your dual gigabit NIC listed here. And system agent information here uh, where you can set the primary display, internal graphics, and the uh, PCI X16 slot information. On the boot menu, you can change the setup timeout, so how many seconds it waits before moving on to actually boot the system, whether the number lock's on or off, displaying of the logo, fast boot, as well as many other um, settings here, uh, protection for the BIOS flash, PXE boot, so whether you can uh, boot off of the NIC card, and your boot option here where you can change the order of how things are booted up as well as under the hard drive BBS section you can set the priorities. Under security you can set the administrator password as well as a user password. Uh, secure boot control is a another uh, security feature for this motherboard since it does feature a business uh, focused chip, the B85 chipset. Under performance you can change the start page for when you go into the uh, BIOS 
your CPU configuration. This is where you would do your overclocking, although being, again, being a business focused board, it's not likely that you're going to want to be doing a bunch of overclocking with this. So you can set CPU rate, but you can set the CPU ratio, CPU core max uh, amperage, as well as max for the watts and power limits, how, uh, how long that power limit, um, the chip can maintain that wattage before it downclocks itself. Whether your hyper threading's on, your active cores, your graphics core frequency, which you can also adjust, as well as your bus frequency. You also have your memory configuration under here. This is where you would enable your XMP profile if you have um, 16 DDR3 1600 uh, memory. You would want to enable the XMP profile to make sure you're getting the uh, best settings. Voltage configuration where you can uh, do some voltage adjustments if you need to and also the memory information you can do a, a lookup of the memory that's in each slot on the board. You also, of course, have your save and exit button. When you click that, you're going to be prompted to save your change or save your changes. You can also press F10 to do the same thing. F11, you can do a print screen to a USB device. You can also do a BIOS flash from within here by pressing F12. If you need help, F1, like in most programs, will give you a little bit of help uh, based on the features that you have selected. F3 will load the defaults, which is great if you're uh, change a setting and you're having a problem. One thing I did notice with this board, which is good, is it did recover from uh, overclocking further than it would like. It rebooted a few times and reset back to defaults all on its own. So that is a quick overview of the Biostar UEFI BIOS for the Hi-Fi <coughs> B35N 3D Mini ITX motherboard. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it was informative for you. Please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter pages and check out the full review at www.hitechlegion.com. Take care.